What's going on, everybody? Drones and Dogs here. We're back with another cool unboxing and quick flight test. We're currently at 392. 392 on the subscriber count. Thanks for all the uh, subscribers. Everybody that's rocking with us. Getting that number up. We're at 392. Almost 400. Really appreciate you guys for coming and uh, checking in with me and rocking with the channel. So uh, that's the subscriber count right there. Appreciate you guys, all 392 of y'all, everybody that's rocking. If you just now checking them, checking me out, your first video checking me out, go ahead and uh, hit that subscriber button, hit that number up. But uh, we're gonna be uh, checking out this little, I think I'm saying it right, Calibri Torpedo. This is another one sent over by uh, RD Drone Reviews. Shout out to my guy Ryan, he sent this little guy over. And it's just a little mini little camera drone. But what's unique about it is the way it looks. If you see it, it looks like the motors are like upside down. If you look at it like this, traditionally on a regular quadcopter, the motors would be facing up. But on this guy, they're downward. So I never had nothing like that. Then they had these little unique little landing gear coming off the side of the motors right there. And it has a camera, little camera in the front. But I think it looks unique the way it looks. And it's a little guy fits in your hand it's called a torpedo by Calibri so this was a uh, courtesy of RD drone reviews shout out to Ryan for this little guy torpedo on top has a little charger port in the back you stick the charger at comes with a little charger stick it in there and it has a little LED indicator on the charger and it's red when it's charging then it'll light up green when it's fully charged so really simple so it's gonna be interesting to fly this I never flown nothing like this with the motors upside down it kinda of looks weird looks like a little bug or something they call it a torpedo comes with a little mini little transmitter out the two hole don't think it does any flips or anything but this is like automatic takeoff and automatic land right here on and off switch throttle stick pitch and roll stick this button doesn't do anything. You can't even push it, press, it, press it down. You got headless mode, and then you got your rates. And I think it got three rates. So it's a little simple guy. I want to say it's two AAA batteries in the back. So fairly simple. little setup. I'm not sure how much it is or how much he paid for it, but I'll have to see if I can find a link online for this little guy and see what it is. And that, that's pretty much all you get in that little box and some extra props. You get the little instruction manual because it's an app you got to download for this guy. Also goes over the transmitter and stuff like that. Calibration. All that good stuff. I forget what the app is. It's like Fly Calibri, something like that. Fly Calibri drone app. There it is. So we'll take a short break, get this guy all set up and ready for flight, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back with this little torpedo, little mini drone. We're going to see if we can uh, fire this guy up, see what it looks like. So first we're going to do is uh, turn on the uh, little quadcopter, turn it on, looks like we got a red LED in the back, green in the front, and of course the front of the drone is going to be the camera, go ahead and turn on this, do an up, down, binds to it, so we should be bound to the little quadcopter, let's see if we can, if there's a little Wi-Fi we got to connect to it for this little guy, this is my first time flying it, so, let's see what we got. Yeah, Calibri FPV. Connect to that. All right. So now we gotta look for the app. Fly Calibri. Connect to that. I'm gonna connect. Get flying. All right. So I got FPV signal. Boom. Live. See if I can start a recording. Got the recording going. I see numbers calm down. Let's see if we can take off with this guy. 
Boom. All right, now. So we in the air. So this will be our first rate. Trying to climb on me a little bit. Does have altitude hold, but it seems like it wants to climb just a little bit. There is no flips or nothing like that. Trying to yaw it. That's our yaw right there in the first rate. Very slow yaw. Very slow. I'm going to go to a higher rate. Click on this button right here. A little top. Right shoulder button. Two beats. Alright, so this is the second rate or medium rate, keep feeling like it wants to climb on me, second rate, a lot more pitch on it, a lot more pitch on it in the second rate, hard for me to even yard, keep like it want to keep going out to the left, it keeps going to veer to the left. Let me see if I can land it and uh, calibrate it. So I landed it, I want to... Your love is rated X. That means you're extra, extra. See if I can calibrate it. No, it's not letting me calibrate it. Down the inboard starts the motor. I'll just see if I can give it some trim and take it back off again. So I should still be in the second rate. Trying to trim it out. There we go. A little better. So there's our yaw rate, second rate. Those look kind of weird in the sky. It looks like a little beetle or something. Three beats. There we go. I think this is our highest rate. Three beats, high rate. So there's our yaw rate and the high rate. There's our yaw. Thank you.
Oh, beeping. Let me go ahead and land it. So there's our flight time. Go ahead and stop the recording and make sure I save something. So it has a little telemetry in it. That's kind of cool. Has a little telemetry in it. It beeps at you, letting you know that the battery's getting low. So it's time to come in for a landing. That's pretty smooth. <laughs> little torpedo, man. You got a little drone that you can just pop out. That kind of looks like unique, something different that you've never seen before. It has a little camera on there so you can fly FPV if you want to. I didn't really get to look down at my camera much and see what kind of uh, footage it was getting. So I'll know what I edited up. But uh, I think it was kind of cool to fly. I don't know how it would do outdoors. It's a bit windy and cold outside. But as an indoor flyer, I think it was pretty cool and unique. So uh, thanks to Ryan for sending this over to me. Appreciate you, boy. And uh, this is the... I'm turning this guy off. This is uh, annoying me. <laughs> this is the Calibri Torpedo, man. And I uh, appreciate you guys for checking in with me today. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs. We at number 392. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Get that number up. Get that number up. I appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll be having way more drones coming all the way up to Christmas. So I got a few more for you guys. It's just completely cold outside. I didn't want to get outside and freeze my butt off. But uh decided to do this little indoor one. So appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.